All right, everyone, for you that haven't been paying attention, perfume is alive and well, especially in the last couple of months. Just feels like we've been getting hit like crazy. I've heard crazy comments out there that 2019 was just a, a terrible year, no good releases. It's because they haven't been paying attention to therapeutic fragrance and others who are following the, the things that are changing the game, who are playing at a different level. Um, this is one of them. I mean, we just had a reach hit. We had Dixit and Zach come on with an onslaught of, they only put out four perfumes, but just home run, home run, home run. I talked about that in an award video with the Reach of the Door. And then we have Ansar Oud coming out. I mean, just heavy hitters. Uh, today, though, uh, I'm rushing this. There's still some left. We'll talk about that in the video. Emperor Hind by Dixit and Zach. They're playing in the league. They're playing in the Good Perfume League. They're playing in the Better Fragrance League. If, if you folks have not they're creating stuff of old. There's no reason to leave these ingredients. The raw materials that are brought to us in this stuff is flat out amazing. Stay tuned. Full review and score. Dixit and Zach Emperor Hind. Brandon with Therapeutic Fragrance. All right, there's the logo for Emperor Hind. Dixit and Zach. I don't have my bottle. It is on order. I guarantee you that. You saw the unboxing video. I, I literally, I knew it was going to sell out. I, I mean, it's, you can see, I'm saving that just to make sure the bottle's the same. I do that with everything. With these one-off releases, there's, it, it will be. I'm confident, but um, I always like to, uh, that's what I do. That's my approach to fragrances, especially, I, I, I just, the way I saved these and want these in my collection. Uh, it was two. It, it is still two hundred sixty dollars thirty ml. The free shipping's built into that price. Keep that in mind from India. Um, so, so a little jump over our, our reach prices, but ingredients are all there. Dixit and Zach. I, I think they make perfumes together. I need to get better on this story. I'm literally. I've talked to them a bit back and forth. Usually, I do a little more research. I'm only hurrying my full review because there are some left and my unboxing kind of, a lot of private messages. I'm telling people about this, but I want it public on my channel. 2019 released, the Pendulum Scale 75 masculine, 25 feminine for me. All right, right away, this brought me right back to my Oud Infinity review. A blast of Oud that is not apologizing for what it is. It's just being in full beauty and beast mode at the same time. A blast of Hindi funk that is stunning to look at. Like a prized fighter going full full 12 rounds, whatever the fight is. He's got the bloody face. He's beat up, but victorious. And you can just see that umph on him, the sweat on him. That That's what this oud is. The beauty and that kind of thing. Still got all that raw material, but still... Just, um, I mean, audiences behold, that's what we cheer for, that kind of the power in the oud, just beauty and power. Out of the three perfumes I've tried, I, I only missed their first release. There is a, an accord that they put in all three of these, a uh, 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 Desade, if you will. See what I did there? Desade. <laughs> um, but in all three have just this clean, fresh, that is counterintuitive to every ingredient they put in there. Because the Mysore they use, the, the my, Mysore is, sandalwood is pungent. The, the oud they're using, pungent. And then they just come in with this clean, fresh accord, and it works. It's a natural, all natural, just amazing. Just punches back and forth that are just beautiful. The, the Hindi oud is known for its dark, darker animalics, it, its darker funk. It, I've talked about this deeply in my uh, oud videos, if you want more information there, but I'll get into it a bit here. Wherever the oud is cultivated from, it kind of takes on that whole environment. So when there's hotter, hotter weather, that's usually the more funky weather. And here, us in the West, if you put on these synthetics that are heavy, 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 they blow up with, on you in the hotter weather. Synthetics aren't made for that. 
natural ingredients from the earth, this food, you put it on the hotter weather, it actually works with your body chemistry incredibly. That was one of the biggest surprises I had last year when I was working out. I tried the synthetics, they did blow up, but um, just the oud and how it just became part of what you were doing, the activities you're doing during the day, I weren't 100 degree weather, and it just it worked with the sweat. It, it's an all natural oil, I believe, that heals the body and, and just became part of you. So that's Hindi oud is, is made for that hot weather, and it's got that funky smell that it's an advanced one, advanced level. Don't start here. Nobody smell dude. Don't go show them this because then oud will get a bad name. This is this is for the next level of you guys that have been into the soft ouds. I've mentioned many, many times on the channel that want to know the more uh, facets of oud, the more aromas that oud offers, then you jump up to, to Hindi oud here. The ointia shells are another thing I want to focus on here. They're another animalic that's used years and years and years, all the way back to the days of Moses. That's pretty cool. Um, they provide, I, I want to call it an ocean animalic, um, seashell. Uh, but not, not pure seashell smell. I, I have fragrances. I have seashell oil itself. That's not what this is. It's leather. It's like a soft brown leather with just a bit of that, that ocean um, 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 animalic in it. A little bit of salt and, and a little bit of that with it. Just a beautiful texture used in Japanese incense like crazy. Found at the Red Sea. Like I said, uh, it's a very biblical uh, ascent in and used in incense making. So that, that's a note that's highlighted in this fragrance that we'll talk about when we get to uh, the full review. So again, I have messaged Dick, Dixit and Zach. Zach's the one usually reply, replying, but it's on their Etsy store. We have a big thread there back and forth. And th their concentration is doing one-offs. So one and done's. Uh, I've said this before with the Regal Adore, and then all of a sudden, like a month later, it came up part twos. But um, they're, they're, they're really just showcasing the work they can do with their oils and whatnot and they're okay with with one-offs one and done so keep that in mind if you really like something i'm okay with that i want to experience something new and i want to push perfumers for new creations all the time so that's just information i got from them i want to share uh, one factor and i didn't call them out on this personally but it's something i noticed is they love to leave the last bottle left on their Etsy store, and it seems like it stays forever, even though I know people have went and bought some. They told me, like, I went and bought them for him. I go back to the Etsy store, I'm like, there's still one left. There's still, this happened twice. And, and I saw it when there were six left. I saw them count down. It went to, like, three in one day. And then the next day, I, I saw it sold out. Then the next day, there was magically one left. And for, like, a full week, there was one left. I do not buy into pressure cells, so if that's what that is, I'll report it and keep up on that. I, I can't stand high pressure cells, like if there is a part two of this and it was supposed to be a one and done, so I'll keep reporting that. If it's good juice, it's good juice, it speaks for that, but hyperbole has no business here. Therapeutic fragrance will be on any hyperbole. I don't like high pitch cells, and I think that's why the East does get a bad reputation, because they're prone to that stuff. But they're delivering good juice. They're delivering some of the best juice. Um, but, yeah. Um, in America, with, with all the online stuff, we kind of got away from the high-pressure cells. Even the car salesmen are going away, which I love. So um, I'll always report on that. Let's move on. I don't know if that's the case. I'm reporting exactly what I saw and refresh. I'm keeping an eye on this stuff because I'm into that, um, and I want to know. So I definitely got high-pressure. If I knew there was 100 bottles... Or, or, you know, if I knew I had three months to buy this, I would have waited three months later. I, I definitely pressure bought this. So if, if it stays in stock, that sucks. Review. Let's get into the review. Let's get into what the juice is. This is about the juice. It's good. Again, it's good juice two, five years down the road. I'm already like three years down the road in some of mine, and I can't be happier when I spray them on and wear them. So that's, that's another thing to transition and, and keep in mind when I buy these things, these raw materials that just age so well. So we have an oud that complements the composition that starts off the show. As soon as you spray this on, you're getting oud. Power, pack, funky, pungent oud. No mistakes. So be aware that that's what you're getting. 
What's the name, folks? Emperor Hen. If it has the Ood name in the name, it better contain Ood. And boy does this. This deserves to, to have Ood in the name, Hen, in the name of the perfume. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm on that. If you put the ingredient in the name, I want to see that ingredient. And boy, do you, you get hit here. This is, again, funky, pungent oud for advanced connoisseurs. You're warned it's a perfect oud for what it dries down to and what it opens up with. In the opening on the top, there's a blast of citrus love with lemon, pink grapefruit, and sweet orange. The pink grapefruit, exactly as it des describes I can pull it out with the spritz of lemon, and the sweet orange just adds to the citrus accord that's on the top. Against that divade that um, is, is, is there cleaning that clean, fresh thing with that pungent oud. So it's just a perfect pairing opening. The next note I get very strong that actually comes above the oud for me very clearly is the patchouli. He calls it java patchouli is very punchy and fresh with the, the champaca keeping its arms around it like eye candy for the patchouli. All of this floats in the air with saffron. And again, this is Dixit and Zach. So you're gonna get treated with authentic Mysore sandalwood from their collection. They have some of the best sandalwood in all of perfume, in all of the world that's being offered right now. Uh, not, not sandalwood that you buy on its own, but for what quality being put into perfume, here it is. This is uh, two unique compositions that I smelled this animal of my sort in. I own tons of it on its own from different distillers, and it's different everywhere. But um, here we got just beautiful from their collection, my sort sandalwood, an animal from that also that comes into play, adding another punch. Finishing out the heart is another accord, animalic accord, that I can only tear apart as the Onicha shells, Hyrissium, and the urinal civet. Siamalic leather, again, think li nice light tan leather with seashell animalic scents coming off of it. Soft, not pungent or strong. Soft, breezy. Um, at the Oregon coast, I pick up the smell in a lot of the cities in the air where they do the fishing. That leather actually comes from the Onicha shells itself. They produce that light leather scent. And ambergris only adds to this phase. It's the first time I can pick up the ambergris, just creating air, the bit of the saffron still in, in it with the heart, uh, which I couldn't uh, detect off the top of the fragrance. All right, we got clear transitions here, three of them. Very clear, very distinct, and amazing. The final one, you guessed it if you kept up on the notes, uh, incense. A, fill, a familiar fresh incense is what you're left with on your skin for about four hours, real close to your skin. If I go to bed with it at night, which I did many times wearing this, um, just I put my, my, one of my arms under my pillow and just nice, relaxing, meditative scent of incense that goes through. The oud is totally gone. All animals are totally gone. Just a meditative incense is left. Somehow all of that, that majestic animal is gone until another spray. And the spike nard only uh, helps with that therapeutic uh, downtime on the skin. Amazing dry down. Uh, the most amazing part is, is, is just how big a transition there was. And that the, the oud and all the heavy animals that you start with you're left with. So again, if you plan it right, you're left with a very pleasing, mass pleasing scent. Um, so if I'm, I'm working alone, I could spray it on, and then by the time it gets to the dry down, everybody's happy with me, and I get to enjoy my own funk. Projection is very loud, uh, even over two feet at times. Your sillage is long-tailed. Whoever you pass by is going to smell this on you. And they're going to get a, a heavenly bliss and know what's up. For me, this did last 12 hours. The, the last six hours, very soft. Special last for that skin scent on my pillow that I talked about. But um, long-lasting fragrance. 
overall, this is well-structured perfume using many facets of old school. A showcase of biblical and hidden earth ingredients showing us why they are standard for perfume structure. Dixit and Zach are playing at the next level and not holding back raw materials from us. Kudos to you guys. Keep it up. We're watching. I'm watching. I can't wait for what's next. Supposedly, this year, I'm going to have some more stuff. So, amazing stuff coming out of there. Natural, amazing stuff. Scoring. Scoring for him. All right. Experience, 15 out of 15 all day long. Branding and originality, 4 out of 5. I docked at one point because of that whole cart thing. Get your cart fixed. If there's one left, let it be one. I know somebody who did buy, and there was still one left. For sure, two people. And there was still one left after they got there. So we're watching. Little dot there. Projection Siage, 5 out of 5. Longevity, a 5 out of 5. Composition as a whole, 18 out of 20. Ingredients and price they mail, 23 out of 25. Uh, top, 10 out of 10. Heart, 5 out of 5. Base, 9 out of 10. Total score, 94. Grab a bottle if you can. Air, this is one and done, so special occasions. Wear, this is one and done, so the special occasion fragrance for me. Um, very, and it ages well, so I want it to age and, and see it for years to come. It's one of those for me with the materials in it. My designers, I don't care. I mean, I spray them on, I'll buy more because I, I know it doesn't really age well. They don't change. Aroma chemicals are what they are. So I, I go crazy with those, but these I'm very conscious of. That's why I put the special occasion there. When it's all natural, I would go all year. I wear this all year long. Again, that, those ingredients work with you in high heat. It's amazing. I know it's it's your first couple times, it's like, should I put this on? And people are going to hate this. But it works with your body heat. So you got to try it. It's incredible. If you guys work out in your home, try it there and just see how it goes through the workout. An all natural one. Make sure it's all natural. So I've tried some of the Aregis and they have some synthetic in there that like makes me a little sick when I do it with those. Who do I see wearing this one? Jackie Chan. How many sprays? One to five. I go one to five depending on my day. I'm Brandon. Thanks for checking out the review. Dixit and Zach and for him, such a good composition and perfume for everyone. All, all love to everyone out there. Be blessed.